Hi, welcome to Quacky Queen's Journals. I'm Kirsten. I, this is part two of the follow along junk journal that I did um, earlier, where I painted the canvas panels in a vintage style. Unfortunately, the one I did on camera was less successful than that one. I, really, I love this one. Anyway, so the whole canvas painted easy basic flowers um, and then how to do a sort of vintage style on it. So I'm going to attempt to make a cover with it. Now, I have went ahead and put this cardboard spine on. What I've done is I've put a little bit of, um, out of my Pepin Floral Patterns book, I've put a bit of paper over the cardboard. I actually doubled the cardboard over just to make it a bit thicker as well. Just because these are a bit thicker. Um, and I've stuck that side of the paper onto this. And then put another sheet over it. And now we're going to do the other side. And hope, keep our fingers crossed that it works. So... This, we're attaching this bit to here. I just didn't want to do them both on camera. And I figured the one that's going to be difficult is the second one. And plus, if I, I wanted to make sure that I did actually stick. I've never tried to make a cover with canvas panel before, so this is a bit of a experiment. Right, there we go. Right, so I'll move this so we can actually see what's going on. Right, need to get the ends at the same level. It's important to put a bit of tension on it here as well. What I did was I held it upright as well because what happens is, is once you bring it back down, it'll be in the right position to be able to open and close. Well, I had an exciting delivery today that I wasn't expecting till Monday. My mat medium is just about done. So I'd ordered more and it came today instead of Monday. However, what was very disappointing was that was £20 about six to eight weeks ago. £30 it cost. However, I love it. As far as I can see, it's just the best to tease of, and it's multi-purpose. You know, you can even use it on fab fabric. When I say use it in fabric, when I use it to stick fabric to paper, it's been fine, but I'm not sticking it in any way that is, I suppose, it's going to provide like a specific function or anything. I haven't done a full fabric on a cover or anything yet. The bits and pieces it's been fine with. I just you just got to keep the tension going for a wee while until it dries. And then what's going to happen is I'll put another sheet of paper here, and then I'll put a sheet of paper over the spine that'll come, you know, part way. Or you could have the you could have the hole, but I just like the idea of sticking these down with paper. Or you could have put if this here. I want to. Have I done that the right way up? Yes. No, I've not. I've put my spine on upside down. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We'll put a wee something on it just to hide the bottom of the rose. Um. Yes, I really wanted that design, which is why it's on such a 
narrow piece of paper because ideally I would have liked this to have come out further because I think it would have gave more security. But I went for, what is it? Style over substance. Aesthetics over function. Right. Now I'm going to put on the other sheet of paper. I'm not too bothered about having this white bit here because this is going to be covered anyway. I'm going to find something that will come up to about here anyway. Gosh, can't believe that I'm, this tub's just about done. When you place it down, put it in close to the spine as you can, but then lift it up so that it's vertical to the spine because this will help you create your gap that you need to allow movement of the spine to open and close. thing is is it's to be secure here right I'm just going to take the excess of this off and I do want to go quite near the edge actually I just gently done that because it just it just gives enough to be able to pull it away. I'm going to turn this round. Can't believe I put the spine on upside down. What a dafty. Maybe didn't go quite deep enough that time, but I just want it to have a bit of a torn edge look to it as well because if you look here I feel like the join there where I cut it or where it, the bottom of the page was I feel the blend is better here and here so that's my reasons but it's a bit difficult to get in with a ruler and do it One of those vices. Right, I need to put something in here. I do want it to be this glossy sturdy paper because I feel that it's um, it's good for movement and for pushing into this gap here. I'm trying to decide if I want more floral. I'm going for this. I mean, I probably I'm going to over the top and I should have put in a nice plain coloured sheet, but it's a junk journal and over the top is what it's all about and 
um, it's the cover. Covers deserve more than a plain sheet. Right, here goes. I liked that I had a sort of central point here to work with. Gosh, made it a bit big, didn't I? So I'm just manipulating it just now, gently. And then when I feel that it's robust enough, I put some tension down. So there's a lot of bumfling in this spine, which is to be expected at this stage because the spine, it's softer than these. It's slightly higher than them as well. It's not bad actually, is it? Not bad at all. Right, this side here, I'm going to have to trim it. Right, I've went a wee bit off with that one here, so. Come on, be good, be good. bit off there but when I add in the distress ink in that it should be okay Right, apart from the fact to put the spine on upside down, I'm really, really happy with it. It does feel a wee bit flimsy around the spine in comparison to the canvas panels. But it doesn't feel like it's going to come loose. It is still damp though, so it does need to dry. And then I've made a signature. Have I put that one upside down as well? I have? No. This is upside down. 
you know I've done that before with when I made the vintage folio I think that was on upside down as well oh, I love this so I've made a signature anyway that I'm going to attach here now I've just made one signature I'm not I mean it could take more but I think what I'll do is I'll put in one signature and then I'll make I'm just holding that in a wee minute I'll make push that into there I'll make a pouch and bits and pieces to add into it Right, I'm going to leave that out to dry because I keep playing with it. So I've made a little signature. I have started decorating it. Um, so this is just an Edith Holden page to start with. With a little tiny pocket just to make it the size of the canvas panels. This is just off my snippet roll and a little bit of painted on paper that I put on as the... Oh my goodness, what do you call that? The tag string. This is a bit of brown paper that I'd been mixing up the paints on for the canvas panels. So I just tore that off because the colour scheme matches. And, um, and I put a journaling spot in the back. There we go. I have put a little bit of one of another floral pattern that I used I think I used it to decorate the 24 pocket folio I've made a paper ruffle I have put this is pa the, the wallpaper liner that I've been protecting the desk with and it's got ink and paints and stuff around it so I think it looks great vintage effect so put that on put one of my wee um, washi book stickers on I made some jelly prints especially for this actually uh, because I wanted some nice kind of grey gold white not grey creamy gold white um, papers and when I tried to do it on the white papers it just didn't have the same effect so I thought well let's get out the brown so this is a book page that I've made I've basically doubled up cut in half so I haven't cut in half. I've tore it out as a double page spread out of the out of the book. And then I have folded it over on itself. This side's been glued because I've been I've worked this side already and I've um punched two holes here just to show. And that's all that is. So I've just made pockets with that. This is out of my vintage master boards and this is off of the vintage style clusters. I do like a vintage style, I don't know if you've noticed. So, I love this string. This is actually off of this paper. I just put some distress ink around it and I've just put it sort of across both pockets um so this is the rag I used to put the paint and gesso onto the junk mail when I made the junk mail to beautiful junk journal um video that was the playing cards themed so that's some of that that's a washi tape sticker and this is when the new matte medium came today it had a lot of this strong sticky almost like papery packing tape on it so I naturally kept it and I've made myself a lovely wee cluster here I've just left this blank because that looks great oh this page as well I used it on the jelly plate after I'd painted these canvases I used the jelly plate 
to mix the paints on. So these colours match what's on there, um, although they're a bit darker and not as muted as I would have liked, but they go with the journal. Um, this is off of my thinner snippet roll that I made, and it's actually the back of it, rather than the front. I'll show you. I've got one right here. So the snippet roll, I just use lots and lots of scrap papers, um, put Mod Podge on it. So some of them, it just depends what you're looking for. Some of them I actually prefer the back off because it's quite muted. And then other ones, if you're wanting a good pop of colour or maybe the colour scheme matches in with what you're working with, use the front. So it's a multitasking snippet roll. This is just a book page with a very light gold jelly print on top and these are just two AliExpress wee papers. And this is an AliExpress paper that fitted really well there and I thought this is out of a magazine, a crafting magazine called Frankie. Um, it's part of the I sell second hand books on eBay as I tell you every video and this magazine didn't have any value which was surprising to me because a lot of the crafting magazines do actually. However, um, it's got some wonderful stuff in it, so I kept it for myself. And I've put a wee bit of the brown packing tape at the bottom. But I liked this with this because of the squareness and it's quite modern. And I feel the colours somewhat match. So yeah, just keeping this quite simple. Not fussy. It's not fussy, it's minimalist, despite how much there is there. Okay. Where are we? Right, I have measured and punched holes. I mean, I felt like I measured, but this one looks a lot lower down than that one. Clearly do a better job when I eyeball it. And I've used the all, and I've put the holes in the three places. Now I've measured it up to here and I've put the holes there. Now this is, I usually only do one signature so I'm not sure how the weight of it just being on one side rather than in the middle will affect this but I think it should be okay and I do plan to add um, a pocket in with a pouch you know that's that can hold quite a lot so um i'm hoping that'll help balance it out so we need to choose some thread i'm thinking this yellow one actually would be nice right. Progress has been made. This is less difficult than I'm making it look, by the way. Then, so you're coming out through the middle and going back in through the top. Is easier than I'm making it look. Promise you. Right. Then we're going down to the bottom. And then we're going to go back through the middle.
make sure it's tidied up out here. The only thing is, I think as I do it more often, I will have less thread wastage, but I do waste a lot of thread. But I keep them because I use them in the top of tags, so technically it's not wasted. Just put one set of threads underneath. Well, at least I've put it in the right way up. Progress has been made. Do you know what I made wee charms the other day? See, that thread's not long enough for them to dangle outside. That's worked out really well. I reckon you could get another two in there. I'd maybe put on another one and have the pouch in the middle instead of putting a pocket. I think we should just decorate a few more pages. I am keeping this very, very simple. That's all I'm doing here. I'm going to put a tag in though. Actually, I might use one of these. Yes. Just because the string's there already. I like this. Right, I need to get out the new matte medium tin. The grand unveiling. Beautiful. Okay. I'm trying to keep this very simple. Instead of doing my usual going over the overboard with the decor. Let's find something to do here. These are just wee AliExpress things. Yeah, I'm trying to find something with a bit of a blue tinge to it. This is a Start Your Own Allotment book with some lovely pictures in it. And this is out that Frankie magazine, the Crafters magazine, and I love this picture. I had to take the bottom off, um, but the bottom's great as well. In fact, I think it's in here. Should I put it in? There it is, that's the bottom of it. It's a great picture. I feel like I'm being lazy using these AliExpress stickers. I found this off my snippet roll, which I think will tie in nice with this here. I'll maybe put that on like a wee pocket, a wee tuck spot. Using my gluing ruler. I think that that's that's a great wee mini picture. To put a tag in there. And it was just made for this Pil Pilgrim's Progress book page. This is that packing tape. But 
the new matte medium came in. Oh, I love this. Look at that. You need to find the string. Do you know that is so simple? And yet it looks amazing. Oh, I could put my wee charms on this piece here, couldn't I? Just put another knot in because I want them to. There's no point in having these inside the book. Go through. I will put a video on for the paper beads. It's just they were very time consuming. And I mean, they did turn out good, but I just think I could have made a better job of it. We go. Lovely. What I think actually is I'm going to swap. I think I'll have that coming right from the top actually. I'm going to leave it there actually because I don't I'm not 100% sure if I want to put anything there so there we have it actually we charms do go quite well because there's gold on them and I put gold on top of there so I'm going to make a pouch it's going to be the next job and then from there we'll see what else we add to it but I'm really happy with it so far might try and carry that forward a bit more. I think I over embellish quite a lot. <laughs> anyway, so I'll get a video out soon about the making the pouch. And I'll make sure it ties in with this as well. So um, just to say thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you soon and take care.